Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC out here at the Avon Park Earl Maulers Club in Avon Park, Florida. We're going to take the trip down the lane and going to take a simple plane from an old school style of plane which is strictly controlled by the tail. Tail only. This is the one and only Hobby Zone Super Cub. Now, the original version, this is three cell, this is three cell also. The original version came with a brushed motor and the receiver and the ESC and everything was all in one uh, piece. And um, it was just very simple plane. And uh, a lot of the older timers are saying I'm cheating because I've got the um, rudder in my aileron channel. If you see, I'm operating with the aileron. And then of course the elevator is in the elevator channel. And that's the only controls you have other than of course your primary flight control, which is throttle. Now I'm running a really kind of a big, a 2700 3S, which is going this way, directly in the battery bay. And uh, timer set for six minutes. With this configuration, this brushless motor, she'll fly for <laughs> probably 10 or 15, but we're not gonna fly that way. Also, rubber bands hold the wing on. So, take it up. Nice, simple. I have to remember when I'm on the ground, my rudder is my uh, ailerons. All right, here we go. Strictly all tail controlled. No ailerons here. No ailerons at all. This is a tail controlled only. Gotta remember how to fly this thing. Very stable. Now, you can still buy this plane, not, you know, you go to a swap meet or a, a uh, Old resale shop may still have this, um, but your best bet is actually all the parts, the fuselage, the wing, everything but the motor can still be obtained. I got some of the parts on Amazon, some of the parts actually from Hobby Zone. The wings are readily available. Uh, uh, the only thing you may have a hard time with is finding a conversion kit for the uh, motor mount, which I'm sure if you're resourceful enough with computers, you probably can find one too. Um, but anyways, my, pull, my whole point of this is you don't always have to fly big, expensive, um, latest and the greatest. I'm trying to reach for that imaginary rudder that I don't have. Yeah, I, I'm really getting gotten rudder dependent, which is actually is a good thing. Mo Whoa. <laughs> Time remaining. Kind of have to take off a little more gradual than that. Well, we're going to go around this way, I guess. Well, this just shows that you can fly a plane strictly from the tail. Now, fly a jet, in theory, yeah, but boy, would it be hard. <laughs> It's a very light little plane. There we go. There you go. Oh, hey, all right. <laughs> no 
Brake. Motor off. Let's take her up one more time. See if we can't improve upon that landing. There, much better takeoff there. Nothing fancy. Just a nice, simple, stable airframe. There's something very uh, rewarding about a simple plane. Let's see if we can actually do a loop with it. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I'm reaching for that rudder. Yep. Hey, I was able to keep her. Well, she kind of dug in there. Motor off. Anyways, the whole point of this flight is just to show you with a high wing trainer style plane, it is not hard at all to fly him from the tail. That's just the point, trying to do something a little old school. But uh, thank you for watching. This is Fat Guy Flies RC. We'll see you later. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends, them planes. Bye-bye.